Hi there, it's Ali Cody, CEO and founder of Avocado Alley, where we focus on healing through food and through faith. Last week, if you remember, I talked about trusting God through the storm. Ironically, this week, we are actually preparing for a storm. <laughs> We've got Hurricane Dorian coming in and Last time I checked, they're saying it could be a Category 4 when it hits here in Florida, and I do live in Central Florida. Of course, as we know, and all of us who deal with hurricanes on a regular basis, it can change a million times between now and Saturday evening when it's supposed to hit. So we have been preparing, and today I just wanted to talk about preparing for the storm. You know, the first time we were involved in a hurricane, a hurricane here in Florida, um, direct hit, I was 34 years old. Yes, 34 years old. Because we, even though I had grown up in Florida, we had not gotten a direct hit. So I would joke with my oldest son that he and I have actually been through the same amount of hurricanes. And that was in 04 when he was about two years old and we didn't really know what to expect and so when we talk about preparing for a storm whether it is a physical storm that we are being confronted with through um, mother nature for lack of a better word we know that um, mother nature is just the weather god is certainly in control then the first time we're dealing with this, and even if we're dealing with another type of storm in our life, the first time you deal with it, you don't really know what to expect, right? So what do you do? Do you freak out? Do you drive everyone around you crazy? <laughs> Is that what you do? I hope not. Um, hopefully you keep your cool, you research, you figure out what is the best course of action, and you put that together, right? That's what you do. Yeah, you talk to people maybe who have been through it before, who are familiar. And then, and this is the situation that we're in now, by the time you are dealing with a storm repeatedly, then you know exactly how to handle it and how to be prepared for it. So once I got wind of the storm, of course, I knew days ago when I was at Publix, our local best grocery store here in Florida that I needed to grab some extra water. So I went ahead and did that. I didn't really know if it was coming or not, but what the heck, it's not going to hurt. But we have something in our house called hurricane mode. We also have something in our house called concussion mode. <laughs> we have both of those because with boys who are very athletic and love contact sports, we have a plan of action if we even think there's possibly a concussion. And the same with hurricane mode. And what that means is when these things happen in our home, we don't have to freak out. We have a course of action. We have a plan. In fact, now at this point, everyone in our family, at least our family of four, knows what the plan is. So there's no arguing, there's no panics, there's no panic, there's no anxiety attack. Right now, today is Friday, and I know that tomorrow on Saturday, because the storm is supposed to hit Saturday evening, we are going to do a few things. We are gonna pull in all the lawn chairs, all the patio, anything out by our little boat dock, by our little beach area, anything out by the pool, we're gonna bring that all into either a shed or into our home, into a, a sunroom we have in the back. And we are going to fill up our tub with water. We are gonna fill up buckets with water and put them by the toilets because we're on a well. So if, most likely when, we lose power, we also lose water. So we have to be prepared for that. I am also going to pour water in various um, bottles and maybe even use some vases and just have them out on the counter so we and it's filtered water so that we always have water available so we don't run out because I do have bottle waters but I'm not sure how long that's gonna last so again we have this hurricane mode I have plenty of cat litter if we need 
for flooding, we can use that instead of sandbags. So I want to put your mind at ease when you are dealing with an issue. The first time you go through it, do what we talked about. Research, talk to people who've been through it. You don't need, even then, to panic or have anxiety. It, I mean, I understand it kind of inside, you might feel a little unsure, but there's no need to freak everyone out, right? And then come up with a plan. And then once you're in a storm, a similar storm repeatedly, again, you don't need the anxiety and the panic because you have a plan. And you're also in a situation, right, where you know who's actually in charge. You know that the good Lord is in charge. And even though we may not understand everything that's happening, we know that he's in charge. He's putting us where we need to be at the time that we need to be. So keep all of that in mind. Make sure to keep your faith along the way and pray along the way as well. Speaking from the heart again, and I just pray that this is something that you needed to hear. Love you guys. Don't forget, subscribe below and click the bell so that you're notified every Friday when a new episode drops in. I've got to go get ready for Hurricane Dorian. Bye.